Dr. Marquit and Nurse Sylvester have just discovered something unexpected in their asthma patient's rectum. It was about the thickness of a number two pencil. It was kind of flesh colored, like pig flesh colored. If you've ever seen a snake kill its prey, kind of, you know, does this twisting, you know, it looked like a pig's tail. The movement of a pig's tail. Jessica, um, we're, we'll be back in a, in a minute, OK? <coughs> that was definitely a worm, Michelle. What are you going to do about it? Um, first, we need to go in there and tell her what's going on, and then I'm going to call infectious disease as a consult. In 12 years, I have not seen a single patient with a parasitic worm. Doctor, what's happening? OK, Jessica, um, I don't want to alarm you, so just listen to everything that I say. But what you're feeling down there in your rectum, it appears to be a parasitic worm. A worm? Yeah. Um, don't be alarmed, though. A uh, worm? I, I think we're going we're gonna to figure it out. And Get it out! Get it out! Ha have, have you eaten no. anything unusual recently? No. Get it out! You know what? Um, we'll give you something to help you calm down a little bit. I need you to take some nice, slow, deep breaths. Do you want to give her a little oxygen? Put her on a, a two liters or a face mask. Get out, please. Once I, I figured she probably had a roundworm, then you go look and say, wait, is the roundworm the one that has the hooks and suckers that if you pull out could potentially be problematic? We can't just pull it out. There's a lot of different type of worms. And depending on what type of worm you have, we're going to manage it differently. So You're I'm going to go uh, speak to one of the specialists who deals with this stuff. And then we're going to come back, and we're going to take care of this, OK? Wow. You might not want to look at these photos. Is that what the woman in three has? Yeah, I think so.